Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another uh, episode of the Winning Women Network. Guys, we're so excited to have you here this morning and this afternoon. If you're over on the East Coast, it's lunchtime. Um, it's breakfast time in Seattle, lunchtime over on the East Coast. So, But thank you so much for taking out the time from your day to, to join us today. We want to make sure you get you know value in this, in this compact time we want to spend with you. So I'm not going to um, prolong the time. You know, today we're going to talk about um, the fear of failure, you know, and how to really overcome that. Good morning, everybody, that. and good afternoon. Oh, somebody's playing me. Hey, guys, we're here again. Um, another show. You had to mute out. Um, Thank you for having me out. So, so guys, we're going to talk about today the fear of failure and give you some, you know, how to overcome that, you know, because it's going to show up. It, it does, you know, but we want to give you some tools in your tool belt, you know, that you can use to overcome that. So I'm just gonna, you know, go through the panel, you guys. I want everybody to just, you know, introduce themselves, give you a brief little intro about who they are, um, and we're gonna get right into the meat of our topic today. So, and nevertheless, let's see. We're gonna start with uh, Miss Yvonne. Hey, you just came. I see your picture now. Can you hear me? Hey, good morning, everybody. Go ahead and mute out, Pam. Another show. Uh-oh. Cool. Thank you. All right, Yvonne. Are you there? I see you there, but you're muted out. <laughs> Uh-oh, she's gone. All right. Hey, Melissa, welcome. Good morning. We're going to keep this thing moving. All right. Hey, Melissa, go ahead and introduce yourself, sweetie. Hi, I'm Melissa. Um, should I give a full introduction or just, just Melissa enough? A little bit about yourself. Okay, I'm Melissa. Uh, I had a background in marketing, um, spent a lot of time spinning my wheels, working for other people, um, started my own business, it rose, it fell, I started all over, found DS Domination, uh, been rocking and rolling ever since, um, and I am so glad to be connected, by the way, to you women. You guys are an absolute inspiration. Thank you so much, Melissa. We're glad. I'm going to mute my phone because I'm getting text messages and everything. Hey, thanks so much, Melissa. It's so, um, I just shared your video again last night because I stalked your YouTube, okay? Um, Melissa <laughs> has a fantastic YouTube, and, and I watched your video again last night um, before you got started. Many of you know we're inside a company called DS Domination. Um, if you want more information about that company, there are some links below that you can get some more information about you know, what we're doing online, uh, how we're creating full-time incomes from home. But Melissa, you recorded a video um, and you talked about, you know, what you were going to do in a company. You had just gotten started. I just, you know, I, I still, like, really, I have so much respect for you for doing that. And I challenged, um, Pam and I have a coaching um, club that we started, and I challenged them last night, right? I said, you guys, you know what? I triple dog dare you. That's right. <laughs> video um, just like this and, and set the intention of what you're going to do. So uh, I'll definitely let you know um, what, what um, videos I get from out of that, but you're, you're amazing. amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> I believe in that. you got to call it out. So. Yeah, and you did just that because your results, I mean, you got results pretty fast, you know, pretty yep. fast. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, thanks so much. Hey, Jen Glitton is in the house. Hey, Jen, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, Keisha. Great to be here today. Thanks for having me. Great to see everyone today. And my name is Jen Glidden. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. I, uh, I used to be a cubicle dweller. I left the corporate world to start my own business. And I've done a few businesses now in real estate. I've been online marketing for a while and um, just loving what I'm doing now. So I'm, I'm online marketing and selling on eBay and Amazon, and it's a whole ton of fun. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jen, for, for joining um, us today. You're amazing. That's so. All right, Miss Pam Lawhorn. She's looking around. Pam probably doing 20 things. <laughs> Good morning, Pam. Good morning. My computer is going crazy over here. Good morning. <laughs> I was trying to make sure I had sound. Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. How are you guys, ladies? Good morning. 
Good morning. Can you hear me okay? Yep. I can hear you just fine. Okay. Wonderful. Um, my name is Kim Lawhorn, and I've been in the online arena for approximately eight years. And I, prior to that, I was in the real estate mortgage arena for 15 plus years. And I, too, am with the same company. Love, love, love my life. Love what I do times 1,000. And just a pleasure to be with you ladies this morning, afternoon, wherever you're at. And I'm going to share some good information with you guys today. So thanks for having me on the panel, Keisha. Thank you, Pam, so much for joining us. There's some, you um, totally inspire me. Um, Pam has definitely helped me behind the scenes, you guys. Like, um, you, you know, I, I encourage, you know, women, get you someone that, you know, can put you hey, good morning, everybody. Fire. Um, and Pam is actually, you know, definitely, definitely up Matt. So thank you so much, Pam. You rock. Uh, let's move on down. So if you're not speaking, I just ask that you just mute, you know, mute yourself out and stuff. And, you know, thanks for watching the comments because I believe some of you must be on the page. So good morning to everybody that's in the comments below. Um, Ms. Cherie King, Dan and Olympia. <laughs> Cherie, tell us about yourself. Good morning or afternoon, um, everyone's morning here, and I know it's afternoon some places, but um, I'm Sheree King, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, I have a background, I uh, used to do hair for a living, got burned out by that, and decided that, you know, I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom and, and homeschool my kids and all that good stuff, and so I had to find something to do online and got into internet marketing, have done network marketing, and um, I love internet marketing, and, and as uh, the other ladies here on the panel, I am also currently in to the e-commerce um, uh, arena and uh, selling on eBay and things and love that. So um, that's just a little bit about me. So that's, yeah. a, that's a lot. You definitely have a rich, rich history um, that I'm pretty sure you'll be able to share your gifts with the world pretty soon here. Um, Sharia is actually a fantastic um, blogger. You do some blogging and stuff like that, and she's written some ebooks. So we have an amazing, you know, just an amazing, you know, panel and, of women. Hey, Yvonne, can you hear me? I think... Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Uh huh. I'm having some technical challenges. <laughs> okay. All right, why don't you go ahead and tell us about yourself, Yvonne. Okay, well, I'm Yvonne, known as Yvonne from Colorado by most people. Um, been in the industry for a little over 14 years now. Uh, quit corporate America about five years ago, and I'm a full-time divorced mother of a very active 17-year-old. Um, I'm a member of DS Domination, selling things on eBay, and that is what I'm doing right now. Um, kind of got tired of the the network marketing realm and so I, I love what we have here and the ability to just make money on eBay. So that's a little bit about me. Awesome. Okay, well guys, we're gonna um let's see here. I'm gonna pause for the pause really quickly here. I think that the live link, let me just can you guys just check the live link. I want to make sure we get this information out to everyone. So if you can check and just make sure, in order to see the comments, you have to be on www. You can't just be on. So let's just, you guys just bear with us, okay? Just a second here. This is just a part of, you know, being a business owner is that stuff happens. So give us just a minute. Because my computer is acting like crazy as well. If someone can chat with one of the, um, find out from one of the team members, just to make sure we, uh, they can see us and stuff and that we're live. I can hear myself, so. I can hear myself, so. I'm probably hearing myself from Yvonne's computer. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Anybody got a response from anybody in the team? Anybody got a response from anybody in the team? Okay. So get my computer even. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's just talk about, we're going to talk about today um, the fear of failure is what our discussion topic is today. I'm going to ask you guys to all mute out because I'm hearing myself. Anybody got a response from anybody on the team? So the replay is, is out there because you guys are listening to it. Dan, I just sent you the... Um, the YouTube link to send the Reginalds. I have to okay. update it. So, okay. so if I can get everybody to move out. All right, guys. So let's just talk about, we're going to talk about today um, the fear of failure. Right now, the is today. Okay, awesome. I see what I was doing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the YouTube had actually come up on my page. All right, guys. Let's keep moving. Fear of failure. Okay, we're going to get this message out. The fear of failure, and this is what I wrote down this morning. It says, failure isn't holding you back. The fear of failure is. Okay, so it's failure isn't holding you back. The failure, fear of failure is. So let's, just, let's just talk about, you know, today, you know, how the fear, fear of failure really, you know, it, it's the fear of failure that it really holds you back and not necessarily failure itself. Because um, as I was listening to you all stories this morning, uh, many of you have said, like, you know, I failed in business. I mean, you know, Pam talked about, you know, a mortgage company that went under. Um, you know, Melissa had a hair business, and, you know, and just, you know, different things that they they went under. You know what I'm saying? And you could have taken that experience and been like, you know what, well, I'm not going to do this again. Um, but can you guys talk about how did you how did you overcome, you know, those, you know, epic um, downturns in your life and really come to the point where you are now where you had the courage, you know, to, to really pick up and, and do it again. I'll chime in. Okay, awesome. Um, for me personally, there is no greater motivator than um, having lost most of you, uh, most of the things that you were comfortable with. in the world today have some very extreme stories like they've been to the lowest lows that's that's common um, and I think that failing and having having that shaken up feeling where you're out of your comfort zone and you're literally at rock bottom that's where inspiration comes from mm -hmm. um, and so that's the good thing about failure that was the good thing about failure for me it was the ultimate motivator when I got on and uh, I knew I wasn't going back. You know, I was, I was motivated more than most because I had been taken out of my comfort zone. I didn't join because I just thought I would make a little extra money or, or anything like that. I had big, big plans because of where I had been and where I knew I wasn't gonna go anymore. So I mean, the ultimate thing is that it's really just an awesome motivator knowing that you've seen things go wrong before and you're not going to see them go wrong again. Hmm. And that's really good, you know, when I even think about it's your video, Melissa, because a lot of people wouldn't do that because of fear. Right. You know, just like I'm not going to even put that out there because I'm, you know, afraid that what, ha what, will, you know, what, what if it doesn't come true, right? What if it doesn't happen, you know, that whole, that whole fear. Yeah, fear, fear can absolutely cripple you um, if you allow it to. And that's in everything. That's in business or whatever goals you have. Fear can cripple you if you're not careful. 
Right. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. That's a good good point. Anyone else want to chime in on, on that and just how, you know, in your own life, you know, you really use, you know, the inspiration from, you know, from Phil, right? Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm well, I wanted to, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I was just going to say that um, I hear an echo. <laughs> but, um, Ron, can you read out and see? And then when you um, when you want to speak, you come out. I think that you know, and and I really want us to really address this, and and not just kind of uh, you know just kind of skirt over it with with the 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 sweetie talk, you know, if if I if I can say that because it's a really real issue with a lot of people, a lot of women. Um, it was a real issue for myself, and I think that a lot of times we have to dig a little bit deeper. Uh, sometimes we're, you know, we're in a place where we're strong enough to take a situation that happened to us in the past and 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 learn from it and let that be our motivator, as um, Melissa said. But at, at, there are also going to be times when we have to dig deeper and we have to um, get to the root of why we're feeling this way. Why do we have this fear of failure? And a lot of times it stems from, you know, things as deep as things that we were told as a child, you know, um, that things that, you know, maybe our parents or our teachers or, you know, siblings or anyone in our lives that we looked up to, you know, had told us before that, you know, um, you know, you can't do this, or you can't do that, or you're never going to be able to do this, or, you know, you're never going to be able to live that type of lifestyle, you know, because this is this is where you are. This is all you, you will ever amount to. This is all you will ever be. And so it's important that, you know, we talk about personal development, and, and, and it's, it's something that we all need. You know, we need the personal development we need to uh, tap into maybe uh, spirituality, you know, things like that to really dig and find the root of, of that issue of where that fear is, is coming from, you know, where it stems from and, and, and be able to, um, you know, work on not allowing that to, to affect things that we want to do in life and, um, you know, so... That's good. You know that that is good because I when I, I was up, I was I was listening to you talk, I was thinking about how we just really were taught in life to just play it safe. You know, just 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 play it safe. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't go too far. Don't don't dream too big. You know, just just play it safe. You know, keep it. You know, and we and so we just kind of went through. We kind of go through life and just play it safe. You know what I'm saying? Like so, we set a goal. Like oh yeah, well I'll make a thousand dollars this month in my business, you know, and we just, we're safe with, with, with things, right, and then we teach our kids to be safe, and it's just, you know, and some of it's just not even, it's just, it's just fear, right. Cool, that was a good point, Hey, hey, Keisha, I'd like to add something to what Cherie was saying, um, I think that was, she touched on something that's really important, uh, and, and that is the cause, so whatever the result is that you're looking at, right now or your your concern might happen that's a result um, that's feedback from events that happened earlier right so there's I, I've heard somebody say that there's no failure there's only feedback and that's one way of looking at it but I know that a lot of people believe that there is such a thing as a failure and you know there are a lot of times where we'll encounter circumstances in life that we're not that's going on and in that situation we have two choices one is to stew on it and sit and and you know bemoan our and just say everything's happening to me and life is terrible or we can take responsibility and start moving our way out of it because the actions that we take are going to create a different outcome so you may feel like you're in a failure situation but you can move out somewhere where you're stuck you can change your circumstances and so every day is a fresh new day and you know we need to keep that in perspective I mean there are plenty of situations where I have been absolutely <laughs> not satisfied with what was going on um, but you know I that 
caused me, like Melissa was talking about, it caused me to figure out, okay, I have to do something to get out of this situation. It's not going to just resolve itself. I have to take some action. Yeah, that's a good point, Jen. It's so, so true. Anybody else have a point? I thought, Yvonne, you wanted to come out and say something. Uh-oh. Cool. All right. Hey, Chelsea, welcome to the Hangout. You want to come out and tell, you know, to introduce yourself to our um, to our audience? This is your first time here, so give us a brief intro, my dear. Hey, everybody. Can you see me? Yep, we okay. can. Uh, my name is Chelsea. I'm in Florida. I've got three kids, ages five, three, and one. I'm a wife. I'm a student. I have a lot going on. And the thing about it is I'm learning that I have had a lot of fear and self or limiting beliefs in just in my own abilities, thinking, well, you know, despite the fact I have a college degree and all this other stuff, we can think about ourselves and like Jennifer was talking about how, um, or Sheree even, that there's a lot of things that happen in your life that contribute to what you believe about yourself. Um, but it's you have to really retrain your brain and I learned it this way is like you can get stuck in a rut where your mind is going in one direction and you kind of keep going that way the more that um, life experiences happen to you but I found out when you just choose and make a decision to do something different things can be great so I'm new to this whole online thing but it started with changing my mind and getting over the fear that you know, that I could really do it. Because I would see people online and on YouTube and they're making all these videos. And I'm like, well, what are they doing that I'm not doing? And I would always question myself to say, well, what's wrong with me? But that was the wrong thinking. It's, I can do this too. I'm just like these people who are online, who are doing great things, who are sharing their stories. And I've had a, you know, I didn't have like, everything given to me as a child and I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my, my, my mouth at all. I was a hustler. I always had to work hard to get everything that I had. So what makes it different now as an adult to say, why can't I work hard to get what it is that I want? Because it's out there. There's so much out there to be done, to learn, to experience, to live, to grow. And really what happened for me personally is my mom passed away and that was like a very very difficult thing for me because it was so much going on in my life and as you know just as a woman you carry so much for your family as in and during that time my mom passed away when I was eight months pregnant so she died then I had my daughter and then my stepmom died a month after that so those are just the highlights but when you have a situation like that you really start to think about your life and what's going on with Everything that's going on around you, it's okay. Either I'm just going to accept life as it is or I'm going to make a decision to say, I'm going to make a choice to live the life that I really want to live and not allow fear and anxiety and all of this stuff to get in the way. So it's been a journey. It has not been the easiest thing for me. Even being on the hangout and showing my face is like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm freaking out because there's people probably all over the world watching this live hangout. But you know what? Why not? Why not me? And why not you? So right. you just have to make a decision to do it. And so that's how I am here today. Nice. Awesome. Welcome, Chelsea. And, you know, big congrats to you. Uh, for taking action, I just you know the the difference between successful people and people who are not successful is action, right? Successful people take massive action, and that's what you know. When people ask me, Keisha, what what's the secret? Take massive action. What what action? I don't know. Take massive action until you figure it out, right? You'll do enough stuff, and then you'll figure out, okay, that didn't work, right? Now let me try, you know, I'm going to try something different. Um, you know, you look at my YouTube channel. I have 400 videos on one YouTube channel, okay? I started doing videos with, uh, with sunglasses on, um, in my car, on my breaks, at lunch. Um, I have a picture that, some, that people use now in, me, in the media, right, um, for me to sing and stuff, that I was in the bathroom. That's my <laughs> job, okay? And I'm thinking, like, I, you know, and I look at the picture and I'm thinking like, oh my God, well, I, I would, would people stop using this picture because, you know, I, I was in the bathroom at work, you know, and just, I had a Blackberry and I just, I just, I have always been a person to just take action. Okay. So, fail your way to success. <laughs> Keisha, can I come in? 
Yes, please do. Hey, finally got on. I had to go to my iPad. But <laughs> I wanted to talk about failure and the way I got over the challenge of failing so many different times. Um, a lot of times when we're kids, we look at these cartoons. And one of my favorite cartoons was Roadrunner um, and Wile E. Coyote. And so today I have on my Wile E. Coyote necklace because... Um, if you think about Wiley Coyote, how many times was he trying to catch the Roadrunner, got hit on the head with the anvil, and still got back up? The next cartoon, you know, the next day you watch the cartoon again, and Wiley Coyote's alive and kicking and chasing the Roadrunner again. So when I first uh, decided that I was going to quit my job, and I was like, what can I do to remind myself every day to be persistent and consistent? So I went to the store, and I got myself a Wiley Coyote necklace just to remind me to be more childlike and cartoon-like in my business building meaning to not worry so much about what's going on around you, the failure that you're facing, look completely to what your goal is. And like we, you know, Wiley Coyote's goal was to at some point catch the Roadrunner. So every day as you're a child, you're watching that cartoon and he's doing the craziest things to try to do, you know, to catch him. I mean, kind of like Tom and Jerry. Tom was always chasing Jerry, you know? So you, if you can think of yourself kind of like a child and a childlike mentality, let these things roll off your back. The things that are going on around you, you may be going through a full foreclosure like I did back in 2007, a foreclosure, a bankruptcy, a divorce, the loss of my sister, a lot going on in my life, but still I, 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 I'm here. You know, I'm here a few years later still striving for my goals. And so if you go, if you, if you change your mindset to just a childlike mentality, pick your favorite cartoon character who kept going and going and going, that's what I like. You know, that's the way I do things in business. Oh, man, that was a good point. I just love you, Yvonne. You always have some good stuff to say, okay? Um, that That's so true, and I think about it. And we watched it every day, right? I mean, we knew what was going to happen on every show. <laughs> but I'm like, they weren't, weren't going to do nothing different. It was going to be the same thing the next day. Uh, he was going to show up on his assignment. And, you know, and that, we could go on a whole different tangent on that about showing up every day. He showed up every day. And he had the same assignment. He was going, you know, he was catching, you know, he was going to catch him, right? But, and he didn't stop. You know, one day he didn't get him, you know what I'm saying? Like he came back the next day. So good point. Exactly. Got. And the thing about it is that he actually thought he could catch the road runner. <laughs> right. <laughs> he thought he could. As fast as he was, he still kept trying, you know? And so if we think that we can reach our goal, we can reach the thousand a month and then 5,000 a month and then 10,000 a month. And then at some point, maybe become a millionaire. If you keep thinking that you can, at some point, you really can. Right. That's good. That's good. Hey, this is a good point for, you know, for, for me to just say, you know, maybe, maybe you're watching this hangout today and you, you've tried a, a few businesses and stuff and, um, and they just, they fail. You utterly failed at them and you're just like, you know, you know I, I don't know. I want to, you know, just, you know, just invite you to, to get more information about what we're doing, right? Because we you know we failed our way here. I, I mean, I don't know about any of you, but I, you know, I got a network marketing and I failed miserably. Like some of you probably got, you know, some success. Like Melissa, I could, you know, you probably, <laughs> like, but I just like, I failed my way, but maybe you're here and you're like, you know what? I, you know, I'm, I'm looking for something that I could do. Um, that I can connect with some leaders that are getting success and and I'm ready. So if that's you, I want you to I want to invite you to click the link below this video to get more information about you know what we're doing online. It's you know it's it's not hard work right that we're doing, um, but you just got to take action. Okay, I tell anybody it, with anything that you do, I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you rake in leaves. I don't care if you're going to um, transfer money. If money is going to make a transfer. Um, then you know there's a service, there's something that's gonna that's gonna happen, or you're gonna inherit it, right? I mean, you can inherit money, um, you know. But you know, so so, but if you're gonna make money, even even online, you know, you're gonna there's gonna be a a transfer that's going to that's going to happen, okay? Whether it be a service, and so um, click the link below though, get more information, and please get back with the person that invited you to this hangout today. All right. Moving right along, you guys. I wrote down. Who else do we have? We had. I had someone new that joined me. Cami, is it Cami, sweetie? I see you on. I see you here. Can you hear me? If I'm saying your name wrong, please forgive us, me. Okay. Hey, hey, we can see you. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Hi, Keisha. Hi, Cami. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Tell me about yourself. I am Cami, and I am Houston in Houston, Texas. 
this right now, and I'm here because of my good friend and former classmate, Chelsea Johnson. Okay. We've been uh, in entrepreneurial pursuits together since college, so... Um, yeah, she called me and she said, Cammy, I have something I want you to check out. And so that's how I got here. Awesome. Awesome. Well, welcome to the Hangout today. We're talking about, you know, the failure, the fear of failure. Ah. So, thank you so much for, for joining us this morning. If you have any thoughts, um, when you hear something that someone says, unmute yourself, jump out, okay? Okay. Thanks, Keisha. Right, no problem. Hey, Rachel, good morning. How are you? Hey, good morning, Keisha. Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. <laughs> We're doing great. Hey, thanks for joining us this morning, Rachel. We're talking about something that's near and dear to your heart. I know um, the fearless millionaire mom. Um, give us some thoughts, you know, of what you have about failure, because I know this is a topic that you really, you really love. So why don't you give us some thoughts this morning? Um, my thoughts on failure is... Um, you know, I, I believe that it's something that we learn as children. We, you know, we may have gone through something that um, actually caused us to, to, to fear. Um, and as we grow older, if we don't do anything about it, if we don't face it, then it becomes a constant nightmare. Um, and for me, I had to, I mean, even as I'm right now, when I'm on this panel, I'm like, I don't know who's listening to me. I don't know who's watching me. All of those emotions begin to uh, try to take control and and take over, but you know I refuse to allow fear to stop me from my goal and my mission in life. So um, for me, it's just you know I'm gonna fight it. I'm I'm a, I'm a winner. I'm a fighter. I, I don't I don't stop at no cost. So um, just do what I gotta do. Oh, awesome, Rachel. Well, thanks so much. You know, that's what we have to be, you know, as fighters, you know, be relentless um, about about it. Jen, you shared something earlier that I, I want you to, uh, I want you to, to share with our listening audience today um, about fear and, and really putting it in its place, okay? Because that's the whole point we want you to be here is to learn how to put fear in its place because it's natural, honestly. Um, we, we have it. It's, it's actually a safety mechanism. I was reading about fear, and, um, and actually was, we, we have it so that we can, you know, stay away from danger um, and different things. So it's, it's a natural thing, but how do we put it in its place in our lives? So, Jen, I want you to share that's the analogy that you gave us earlier today. Thanks, Keisha. Yeah, um, just this morning I was listening to something, and... It was a really powerful illustration for me. I hope that it helps some other people also. Um, essentially, the, the man said, imagine that we're going to ask you to walk a plank, and this plank is about 20 feet long, and you know we lay it down on the ground in front of you and say, we'll pay you $20 to walk the plank. So, so you look at the plank and say, all right, I'll walk it, and you walk along, and it's no big deal. Well, next thing... Uh, the next part of the challenge is we, we take you up on a 30-story building and look across the way at another 30-story building and put that same plank between the two buildings and say, here, walk the plank, we'll give you $20. Well, all of a sudden, there's, there's a different feeling in your heart, right? <laughs> um, the $20 is not much of an incentive anymore. However, if you see that the building across the way is on fire and your child is standing on the roof, you aren't going to see anything else except your child over there and you're going to get across that plank without even thinking twice. Or, you know, if it's not your child, it's somebody you care about deeply, maybe a parent or, you know, a spouse or whoever. Um, so, so I thought that that was a really powerful illustration of how when our why is big enough, we don't see those other things. They just melt away. When you're focused on what is, then, then you're going to be able to take the action to get to it. Thanks, thanks for having me share that, Keisha. Yeah. That was powerful. I know I want to hear you guys' thoughts on that because I was thinking, like, I would go across the plank with and no payment, right? If my child was on the other side 
and my mom, my dad, or you know, someone was on the other side, you don't, I wouldn't even need a payment. $20, I wouldn't even care, right? I'm walking the plank. I'm running, actually. How fast can I get? So, ladies, I want to hear your thoughts about that. I love that. I want to chime in. Um, I love that. I mean, it's, it's in essence, put your blinders on. You know what I'm saying? Put your blinders on and work, 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 and get and reach that goal. Um, of course, everybody's going to be scared if you put the plank 30 feet up. Why would you not be? But it's the... <laughs> the essence of what, what is on the other side or what you get. Maybe if it's not $20, maybe they'll offer to pay you $100 or $2,000 or whatever to do it. But it's whether or not your goal is, is worth reaching out for, even with the scary stuff around you. Put your blinders on. Yes, you, you're you going to get the nose. You're going to get nose all day long. We all do. But, hey, get past it. Go for the yeses, and it's all good. So, yeah, I love that, Jen. Thanks for sharing that. Keisha, I think one of the things that for, for me and one of the things I do in coaching is I tell people to not focus on the immediate results so much. I think in this, especially when it comes to online businesses, people, they have a tendency to see what other people are achieving and they want the, the what I call microwave results and that tends to accelerate the fear because what if I don't achieve those results? Then it tends to make them want to quit a lot quicker for me. That's what I'm starting to see a lot of people. And so that fear of failure is based on someone else's success. And I always tell people when they say, well, what are you making or what are you doing? And I say, you should never base your success or failure on what someone else is doing because you never know what they're putting in or you never know what they're not doing. So I think the important thing to tell people is don't let your fear factor or your success factor be based on what someone else is doing. Because realistically, they could do a whole lot more. They could do a whole lot less. You could come in and, as we've seen in this industry, you could have someone come in and just tear it up. Or you could have someone come in who you'll think is going to tear it up, sit right there and do absolutely nothing. So you could have anxiety or fear over something that really doesn't even exist because it's all in your head. So for, for me, I tell people, don't, don't allow what you believe to even creep up in your head because sometimes it's not even there. Just go at your own pace. Whatever your goals are, set your goals based on what you want to have to do. Go at your pace. If you want to go 1,000 miles per hour, go 1,000 miles per hour. Um, just like Keisha said, if you want something for you, do it, do it based on what you want. If that means that you have to stay up all day and all night, then that's what you need to do. But don't do it based on what someone else is doing because their success, their results, or their failure may not even apply to you. So there are always different mitigating circumstances, but don't let that fear of failing affect you because it may their factors may have absolutely nothing to do with you and, and how you could fail. Yeah, absolutely. Totally agree. Well, that's one time. Any other thoughts? Keisha, I, I'd like to jump out for a minute. Uh -huh. um, you know, one of the things that I think about is it's really important that first that you um, recognize that it exists, you know, write it down, you know, you know, this really does exist. And after you realize that it exists, you know, write it down and then start looking at why. Why, why does it exist? Why is this fear? control of my life. Why, why is it so difficult for me to do this? You know, like, I don't, I'm not sure who said this, but a lot of times um, the fear is not even real. You know, hmm. it's there, but it's not real. Um, and the only way to really, really get through that is to begin to, like, for example, um, for a person who's really afraid of spiders, you know, how do you overcome that? Or a person that's afraid to prospect, because we'll go to the business owner. The way that you do that is by studying it learning more about it. And the more you learn about it, the more you become empowered and the more a skill you develop, no longer are you as afraid as you used to be. You know, maybe maybe you are one that's afraid to pick up the phone and call someone. But the more you do it, the more you understand, maybe you need to study, study a script, you know, maybe you need to talk to a mentor, different things. Once you do that, then uh, your skill increases. And once your skill increases, that fear begins to subside. Um, and the last point is to just, you know, basically just take control of it. You know, don't worry about, um, just do it. Like, I think download a cam, somebody just do it, you know. 
and, and it's not that bad. It's really not as bad as you think. Uh, and it's really all in your mind. A lot of it is in your mind. Um, and one of the things that I had to do, I actually um, started a book club because I was like, you know, like, the only way I'm going to get through this is if I start facing it every day. So every day I would, you know, I, I'm now on, on a hangout, and I don't know who's listening to me. I used to be afraid to share my opinions with people, what I thought, my ideas, and what I found out that I was my biggest enemy. You know, that I did provide value um, and that people did uh, benefit from what I had to say. But again, you know, I was my biggest enemy. So those are my thoughts, Keisha. Mm, that's good, Rachel. Those are some good thoughts. Can I chime in real quick? Keisha? Yeah. I just wanted to chime in on something that Pam said because, you know, you have people around here who see I've been doing this for years and years and we get afraid because we see how they are and so that kind of puts us into like a paralysis of wanting to do anything at all. But what I'm finding out is that you guys have shown me that you just do it. Like it doesn't have to be perfect. If you need to send out an email, if you need to make a video, whatever it is that you need to do, what happens is we try to make it perfect and look like some guru or somebody that's been doing it for 20 years. And if you just start now, ask me, so what? You're a newbie. Just say you're just starting out. I have been doing this for a while, but I don't have to look like I've been doing it for a while because what makes it different? People can connect with me because I'm not the person who can do all this you know, online stuff, and I don't, I don't need to because what I'm doing works and work for the every person. So I just wanted to you know, speak on that, what Pam was talking about, because it's really about consistency and just doing something and, like, the hangout last week, focus, clarity. Mom's talking about this. Just do it consistently every day. Focus and you build upon yourself, and then you're able to build yourself, and then the results come later from time of consistency in the work that you put in. Awesome. Thank That's you. Thanks so much, Chelsea, for um, for jumping out. Great point. Do you guys get emails like I like I periodically get emails from people that want to get started in the system that you know we're in. Um, and if you want more information about that system, go ahead and click the link below this video. Um, but I get emails um, about from people and they'll say this like, well, I'm going to try it out. Um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to give this a try. Um, hopefully, and they'll be like, well, hopefully this will work for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you guys get emails from people that have like that kind of text or that kind of uh, language? In them? Yes, Keisha, I do. Um, uh, I wanted to jump out and say yes. I get them all day long, and it's it's people are ready to get started, but sometimes it's out of desperation, and they're so scared to death that they they just need this to work. It absolutely has to work. Um, and the minute it, it takes longer than 24 hours for them to see a result, <laughs> oh my God, I knew it wasn't gonna work. And I, it, it hurts me. It, it really does sadden me to get these emails because I know that if you did it another 24 hours, you probably would have made uh, gotten a result or maybe another week. It's not the same for everyone. We do our income disclaimer for a reason. All your result will vary. It's how hard you work at the different things that you're doing. So even if you're not in our business, if you're in a different business and you're doing it out of desperation, even though it is desperate for you, you, you still have to think about the fact that it may not work today, but if you keep working at it, small little steps, at some point it's going to start to work. So it, it always saddens me when I get the different emails, someone who just lost their job, someone who uh, is just crazy. There's, I get some outrageous emails and I'm always sad and I respond and someone will they'll join and then the next day you'll see that they canceled and you're like, you're gone already? This could have worked for you. And so you just get so sad when you get those emails and the different phone calls. And so, yes, Keisha, I get them all the time. Mm -hmm. I, I have a, a slightly different perspective than Yvonne. <laughs> um, I, I think that people's expectations are way too high. I, I think most people are not willing to put in the work, but they want the results. And that, I, I wouldn't say that I'm not saddened by their situation. I'm saddened more so by their efforts. With anything, you have to put the work in it. And with those of us who are earning the, the high incomes, we all put the work in. And when people come in and say, how much do you make? 
right away, I, I, I say to them, I stop them in their tracks, I don't want to mislead you. That's the first thing that I say because what they're doing is sizing me up so that they can start at $20 and assume that they'll make the same type of income. And so I, I think the expectations are usually set at that beginning, but I have to let them know that, you know, are you willing to put in 10 hours a day or 15 hours a day if required? Are you willing to spend six months or a year to get to ten or fifteen thousand dollars a month? Because when you start at twenty dollars a month, I have all of the products and I'll put in ten, fifteen hours a day if that's required. But if you think you're gonna come in and spend two hours and then make ten thousand dollars by next week, it's not gonna happen. So it's not that I don't have empathy, that's not the case, but I think most people are not willing to put in the time, the energy or the money that's required. A lot of people want it handed to them and, and, and some of it's not really their fault. I think they see a lot of stuff on the internet that says work one hour and make a hundred grand and the assumption is that they can really sign up and do that. So but when you're honest with them it's almost like they don't appreciate you being honest with them. So that that I think is the only issue is that you know we are very transparent in our business. You know we have a great leader in the company we work with who's extremely transparent. And, and I, I hate to say that some people doesn't they don't appreciate the transparency they don't appreciate the honesty so um, but you know some people are you know but back to fear though I mean I think that you know but why are people so afraid you know to get you know to get started you know what I'm saying it's, you know why I have a lot of people that say you know what this work you know I just want to find out if it's going you know they're not find out. But it, you know, and I often tell people like, why not you? You know, it goes back to child, you know, to people's childhood, and it's like, well, if it works for Yvonne, why in the world is the system gonna break down for you? I, I think that some people don't feel that if they put all the time in, that it will work for them. I really think that the fear is that, what if I spend all that time and it doesn't work out? So. I think in the beginning they're actually afraid to invest the time, and you know, nothing is ever guaranteed for any anyone. You know, you can always put time in, and no one's guaranteed the results. But you're guaranteed not to have any results if you don't put any time in. So it's a it's a situation where you you can't have an expectation if you don't put forth any effort. But it's it's hard to get people to understand that, that that's with any business, any job, or anything that you do. You have to put forth the effort in order to get some results. So I, I think the fear is simply, what if it doesn't work for me? And I say to them, what if it does? I mean, right. what if you try and it actually works? Yeah. So it, it's a, it's a, a catch-22 in some cases, but I think that stops them from doing anything, but at the same time makes them not want to do something. It, but you know, most people, you have some people that just won't do it simply because they're afraid to put forth any money or anything. I hear a lot of people in this business say, oh well as soon as I see something sale, that's when I'll upgrade. Or as soon as I see this, that's when I'll do something. And I say you have to have the faith and the belief in order for it to even work. If you don't believe that it's going to work, then it's not going to work for you. So you have to believe that and expect that. I expect the success beforehand which is why it works for me. So I think it's I think it's just a lot of fear. And I think you're right, Keisha. It goes back to childhood. I think it goes back a lot to, uh, unless you have some mindset training, you're able to retrain your mind. I think it goes back a lot to maybe things that happened a long time ago where maybe they didn't have the success as a child in maybe sports or different things like that. So it, it kind of translates on to where they're an adult. Right, absolutely. Awesome. So now let's empower people. Okay, uh, you know how to overcome, uh, how to how to really overcome and press for. Can people mute out your mic because I think we're getting feedback. Actually, uh, we press forward through this. Okay, uh, we we you know we can identify that fear is the issue, failure is the issue. How do we get to the next part? Because I'll be honest with you all, I'm gonna tell you straight out. I was one of the ones that was afraid. I had a fear of success. Okay, I was one of the ones that you know I really um, sat at my you know six figure job and thought like oh you know if I really launched out because I knew I had to go on I knew I had to go full time online right I I knew that you know this was now my chance my season it was it was time for me to do this but I sat at my desk 
and I thought, okay, what am I going to do about insurance? Okay, well, what am I going to do about this? And, you know, what am I going to do about that? And I, and you know what? I realized that, oh, my God, I'm sitting here and I'm worried about things that haven't even just, act, you know, go get some insurance, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, go Google some insurance. Get some health insurance for entrepreneurs. But, you know, we can sit there and, and I was crippled, right? I'm, I'm crippled, right? And, and, and finally, they had to really force me off the, the W-2, <laughs> right? I had to really be forced because I shouldn't even gone back to a job, honestly, but because of fear, you all, because I feared um, how is this going to work, you know, and, and I was so used to, you know, I was raised to grow up, you know, you go to college, you get a good job, you know, you start a savings fund for your kids, you know, you raise them up, you teach them the same thing, you know, get good grades, go to college get a good job, you know what I'm saying, so I was, I had that, I was in that mold, right, <laughs> you know, whether I was to believe it or not, I was in that total mold, that total mindset, and so I had to really, like I said, be forced off of a job, and then say, okay, sink or swim, <laughs> sink or swim, right, and sometimes that's the best thing, if you are operating in fear, you know what I'm saying, now, I'm not telling nobody to go out and quit their job, no sir, no ma'am, do not, Right. But, you know, if you watched the replay last week, you know, where Yvonne, you know, gave you some really good tips on how to go full time. And this, my, my, my situation is totally different. I was forced to go full time. I had no choice. Right. <laughs> it's like they're going to start coming pick up my cars and, you know, my kids, I got to pull them out of private school. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no choice at this point, sweetie. You got to make it happen. <laughs> right. But, you know, when fear comes, you know, I want to say to you, do it afraid. Okay, if I can leave you all with anything today, and we're almost at our in our time slot, if I can leave you anything today, do it afraid. Do it afraid. List your items afraid. Okay, do it all afraid. Uh, make phone calls to prospects. Do it afraid. You know, fumble over your words. You got to do whatever you do. If you make enough phone calls, if you talk to enough people, I promise you, you're going to get good at it. I know you will. I promise you, you will. Can I get an amen? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you got to get in a Facebook chat, right? Chat with people. If you're trying to build a business or you're not trying, but if you're building a business, okay, it's all about talking to enough people, right? To expose your business to enough people um, to, in order to build a substantial income. So, you know, do it all afraid, right? Get on Twitter and you may not know what you're doing, but if you get on Twitter enough, if you get on it every day, been, dedicate, you know, be consistent. My son, actually, you guys see this. This is what happens when you got kids, okay? This right here, he was practicing writing, Um, you know. So, yeah, so so my notes from last week, Yvonne, are gone, okay? I have to go and actually watch the replay and get my notes back. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, it's, it's all about being consistent. One of the things that was up there was about being consistent, showing up every single day. And you know what? Show up afraid, you know? Show up shaking in your boots, okay? <laughs> And, you know, and make it happen. Uh, another thing I want you to do is ask for help. Now, I'm not saying that every single thing you need to do, um, you know, you got to call somebody to, you know, to, you know, to do. I'm not saying in that regard. But if you're exhausted, you know, all the, all the tools that you have um, and you don't know what to do, well, then ask for help. That's why we have consultants. That's why there's people that will consult you on what's your next step. That's, you know, so ask for help. You know, if you're in business, you don't know, I don't know how to, you know, what marketing strategy, I'm, you know, I'm really going to do. I want you to ask for help, but do it afraid. Um, yes, somebody wanted to say something. Yes, yes I was going to ask you. I, I wanted to um, also uh, share something that I think that has really helped me quite a bit. Um, one is that you have to want it more than you want to breathe. You know, you really, really have to want this. Um, and the other thing is um, taking time to visualize, you know, actually, you know, get in a quiet place and see yourself getting past that fear, you know, close your eyes, actually see yourself calling that prospect before you call them, uh, see yourself doing that listing before you actually do it. Uh, visualization is a really, really um, powerful thing. And so, you know, what it boils down to is your, is your belief system. You know, once you believe in what you're doing, you believe in the product, you believe in the company, you believe in yourself, amazing things happen um, in that process. So just another thought I wanted to. Awesome. Thanks so much for sharing, Rachel. You guys, we have 
uh, just a few more minutes. If you have something, you know, something that you can empower people to give them to walk away here today, I want you to um, definitely um, share that uh, as we get ready to wrap up here. So. Keisha, I was going to, um, I just wanted to say that, um, and I know that sometimes we have to uh, look within ourselves, but when you're not strong enough to do that, it's it's good to uh, surround yourself with with people who who can empower you. Um, you know, we have a wonderful support system, support base uh, within our, our particular business here, and I really appreciate that. And just having like you ladies here, all of you ladies here on the panel, you know, just just having someone in your in your corner to kind of push you and, to, and and say that you can do it. So if you're surrounding yourself with the wrong type of people who are constantly feeding you negative, um, you know, telling you what you can't do, it's time to maybe you know kind of push them back and and surround yourself with people who are who are uh, you know who have what it is that you want to have who are doing the things that you know you want to do and you know and use them and feed off of them and, and just kind of do what they're doing and um, you know until you're strong enough to to do it on your own that's, that's correct. good point great great point support system is very important especially in business you know Melissa, you want to say something? Yes. Um, I would like to say do your best to enjoy the journey. Um, no one wants to enjoy the journey. They just want to get there. Um, unless it's life and death, that is important. Everybody wants to have that journey be long. But every other journey, whether it's the journey to weight loss, journey to success, no matter what it is, no one wants to enjoy the journey. And you have to understand that it is absolutely going to be a journey. Um, I've found that whenever I post my um, my stats, my screenshot, a lot of times I get people that are inter are interested in the instant gratification because all they see is I went from one dollar to a thousand dollars in so and so days, and so that's that. That's what they want. They want this in so and so days. They want every step that I took, and they want my journey to be their journey. And even though I share everything that I've done, your journey will be your own, and it will be unique, and it's something that you have to learn to enjoy. Hold on, he's clicking stuff. It's something <laughs> that you really have to learn to enjoy because you have to see it as worth it. I think uh, Rachel said that you have to really be obsessed with it to see it through, and it's absolutely true. Good point. Really good point. Awesome. We got like... Yeah. One thing, when after I lost everything, my businesses went belly up. There were times, literally, I mean, I lost my house, I lost everything, and I literally, there were times where I was crying and writing emails. I mean, you, you have to just do it regardless of what's happening, even when you're not getting results. And you and I were just talking about this before we came on the hangout of what people see, like what's happening right now but they don't see what's happened the three, four, five years before. So I, I would, my best advice is when you're having the, the fear or the times where things may not look like they're working, tell yourself that, you know what, I'm going to do it anyway because tomorrow it might work. But if you quit, it's not going to work. So you, you have to work through it. And I, those were the things that I kept saying to myself. I kept saying to myself, it's going to work, it's going to work. And to, to regardless of what it looked like, I kept doing it. And my dad was crying, so now I was that nasty snot was crying. <laughs> and I was crying. And, and doing everything because I had to do something. So you just have to not let the fear creep on you that it's not going to work. You, you just have to kind of push through. And, and that, I think, was my biggest lesson and, and probably my biggest aha moment that eventually it did work. And eventually, I broke through that phase of nothing was happening, and when I say it broke through, it broke through. <laughs> so that's what I'd like for everyone to know: is not to not to let what's not happening at your right now affect your later. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that was good. Wow. Okay, Yvonne, you want to come out? Yvonne, once you're done, can you just close us out? Sure. Um, well. I just wanted to say, you know, remember your why. Remember the reason why you're even looking at starting a business or continuing with the business that you're doing. 
Um, I had posted on my fan page the other day that it's it's well worth the journey because I don't want to get up at 5 a.m. anymore. <laughs> I don't want to get up at 5 a.m. and go to work for somebody else and work as hard for them as I could be doing for myself. So I enjoy the fact that I don't, sometimes I don't get up till nine. I do, I do not set an alarm clock. And so remember your why. Why are you wanting to make or increase your cash flow? Why are you wanting to do it? If you can remember your why and focus on that, focus on the reasons for it, then all else goes out the window. You know, you're just focused on your why. And Pam scares me because she always says you got to work 10, 15 hours a day. And that scares me and probably most people on this, on this hangout. And so if you only have an hour, if you only have two hours, do it during that time that you have. And then when you go full time, yes, you'll have the time that it takes to really just explode these things and go 10 and 15 hours a day. But if you don't have that time, because we all know there's only 24 hours in a day, if you don't have it, then just do what you have. And so again, if my, if I can't, if anything else, just remember your why and do what you can every single day. And that's what I have for, uh, that's just what I wanted to share and, and close this thing out. Um, again, this is the Winning Women Network. All of us here are part of an opportunity that you can learn more about if you would just click on the join button or click on the get more information button below. And then we will see you next Wednesday at this same time at 1230 uh, p.m. Eastern time. And the topic will come up with that. Keisha usually comes up with that. Actually, it's Little asking way. money. We actually have a topic next week. Next week, we're going to talk about asking for the money. Nice. Okay. Well, <laughs> there you have it. Winning Women Network every Wednesday at 1230 p.m. Eastern come out and hang with us. But if anything, get started on your journey today. As Melissa likes to say, your journey, get started on that right now. Click on the button, join us, get more information, get back to the person that invited you to our unit of prosperity, winning women network, learn more about us and get started with one of these beautiful ladies today. Thank you. Bye-bye you guys.